Hi folks, I'm Captain Greg DeBruel of the Black Hawk out of Niana, Connecticut, and we're talking tackle today. Uh, we're doing a lot of porgy fishing, and uh, the porgy rigs we use, I don't know which one to start with. Let's start with the one we see the most of. If you're going to buy porgy rigs, this is not the way to go. You see this one here, it's got these steel arms. This is without a doubt the most popular rig that we see on this boat and probably all the boats. I don't know where it comes from, but it's got a lot of hardware on it. People think that it really helps stretching that thing out like that. Well, the fish are aware of this steel. Now when it's when it's really good porgy fishing, when we're anchored up on a pile of them and they're, we're catching them two at a lash all around the boat, it don't make a difference. But when it's picky, these things do not catch as good. So we tell this to people every porgy trip. If you got these, the next time you go to the tackle store, buy monofilament. Don't buy the ones with the steel. They're aware of the steel. They do not catch as good. And not only that, on a party boat, boy, they do tangle. They do tangle. What we're using, we operate under the KISS principle. Keep it simple, stupid. This is our rig, all monofilament. Sometimes they have beads on them. Sometimes they don't. I will say one thing, keeping that hook low to that sinker makes a difference, especially in the spring. You know, we videotape a lot of these around the chump pot and we watch them feed and everything. So do yourself a favor, okay? I know you want to catch them. Everyone wants to come down and fill a cooler, be it on our boat or another party boat or a private boat, whatever. Get the right stuff. Captain Greg DeBrew of the Blackhawk, we're talking tackle.